Hello everyone, it's Lee again. Um, today I want to talk about a kind of misconception I feel like people have about foreign languages and foreign language learning and people who can speak them rather well. Um, I don't ever really claim to speak any of the languages that I've learned particularly well. I mean, I can... My best foreign languages are German and Japanese, both of which I have a conversational fluency. Um, but I feel like some people have a misconception about what language proficiency is. Uh, and when somebody claims to have a certain proficiency in a language, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are natively fluent. Um, <clears throat> I am definitely not at a native fluency in either German or Japanese. Um, I can express myself in many different ways, and I can improvise uh, with things that I don't know how to say which is a good skill to have if you are learning a language. Um, if there's one topic, one word that you don't know how to say in a particular language, go around it and try to describe what it is that you want to say, and hopefully the other person will understand. Um, <clears throat> and part of the reason why I'm making this video is because um, one of my friends recently got himself into a bit of a complicated situation in which he was asked to volunteer for um, an interpretation thing uh, where he had to uh, interpret, uh, interpret both English and Japanese back and forth. Now, interpretation is a skill that takes a lot of work, and my friend did not have any experience really in interpretation. Uh, sometimes you have to do that on a on a daily basis or if you're uh, traveling with friends um, who don't know Japanese uh, you might have to do that a, l a little bit but it's usually with very simple stuff. But he was having to translate like um, I don't know what to call it like kind of international relations sort of situation and he he had no professional experience in that uh, and there was no reason that he should have been expected to do that uh, but nonetheless uh, he he ended up having to do it and it ended up being a little bit awkward for him so he described to me um, and uh, both sides not knowing that he had no professional experience in the in the field um were giving him some critical looks apparently so um interpretation is something that is very difficult and just because you're proficient in a language doesn't mean that you are qualified to do such a thing i certainly would not be able to um i can interpret very simple things um and it, it just goes up to the, the limits of my vocabulary, basically. Um, and I can't do rapid trans, uh, uh, interpretation either. Uh, and it's very difficult to switch between two different languages. Um, it, you have to sort of change your way of thinking. Uh, at least for me, I feel like I have to switch my mind in a certain mode to be able to switch between different languages. Some people are able to do this pretty well, uh, those who have had experience in interpretation. I personally am more interested in translation, which is a lot easier because it involves only writing um, and reading. So, And I can read fairly well in both German and Japanese, and um, translation you can have a dictionary with you, so it's a lot easier. Um, but if you're doing either of those things, uh, it's best to go from your f foreign language to your native language and not the other way around. Uh, because to do from your native to a foreign language, um, excuse me, it's easier to, to translate in a very unnatural way because if you don't have native fluency in that language, um, 
there may be colloquialisms or um, particular phrases that you may not know how to say, and you may translate it in a very unnatural way. <clears throat> so it's best to go from a foreign language to your native language so that the language appears more natural when it's translated. Um, <clears throat> now, I would like to give a short demonstration of what it is like to switch between different languages rapidly. So I'm going to go from my most fluent to least fluent, uh, maybe demonstrate about a minute of each language, and you may see me struggle and there may be some pauses. Um, and for those who know what I am saying, you'll probably be able to tell how much of a struggle it is. Um, it's not easy switching rapidly between languages. So first I'm going to do a little bit in German. So, um, ja, ähm, Sie wissen, wie, wie schwierig es ist, ähm, zwischen anderen äh, Sprachen zu, ähm, äh, zu sprechen. Ähm, es ist ein bisschen schwierig, welche Wörter ich sagen muss ähm, und wie ich äh, mir ausdrücken soll. Ähm, und ja... Äh, was ich vorher auf Englisch gesagt habe, ist, dass äh, es ist ziemlich schwierig äh, zwischen zwei Sprachen äh, zu, ähm, was ist das Wort, äh, zu, ähm, von, von zum Beispiel Deutsch bis äh, Englisch. Äh, zu, zu schreiben oder sagen äh, und hier äh, vielleicht kann, äh, können Sie se äh, sehen, dass mein Deutsch fehlt ein bisschen. Okay, äh, die nächste Sprache wäre Japanisch sein. Äh, konnichiwa. Ähm, äh, Gengo Gaku wa sugoku muskaishi desu yo. えっと、特に通訳は難しいです。あの、僕、僕の日本語の能力が会話的に大丈夫だけど、あの、どういうかな、あの、通訳をするためにもっと勉強しないといけないと思います。<咳> Uh, hola, uh, me llamo Lee. Uh, es, este tema es un poco com complejo uh, para discutir en el español, pero voy a probarlo un poco. Uh, y uh, lo que dis uh, discuté uh, en, los otras, uh, en los otros idiomas Uh, fueron uh, fue uh, uh, traducción y traducción es es algo muy complejo uh, y tengo que estudiar mucho más para hacerlo uh, y algunas personas uh, no lo comprenden uh, y uh, cuando, por ejemplo, cuando yo uh, hablo el japonés y otras personas me dicen, uh, me, me dicen, uh, oh, uh, uh, tu japonés es muy bien, uh, uh, quizás puedes uh, traducir es, esta. 
Uh, pe pero no, no es, no es uh, muy sencillo así. Uh, necesito uh, aprender más uh, en, la, uh, en el estudio de traducción. Uh, y última, últimamente voy a hablar un poco holandés. Hallo, uh, ik weet uh, nog niet hoe ik, uh, de, hoe ik dit, uh, dit uh, hoe, hoe ik, uh, het is, het is moeilijk. Uh, in het Nederlands te spreken, uh, omdat ik in andere uh, s, uh, talen uh, gespra uh, gesproken heb. heb. Ja, uh, <laughs> het, kan, uh, het kan moeilijk zijn. Uh, zijn uh, en uh, ja, talen is niet zo makkelijk. Uh, um, dat, dat man uh, misschien denken zou. Voor uh, uh, de mensen die goed... Uh, talen spreken kunnen. Uh, ja, ik spreek Duits en ha Japans, maar ik kan, ik, ik kan uh, alleen maar uh, conversaties doen en misschien een beetje vertalen, maar vertalen is moe... Het is... Dat, dat is spannend. Uh, het is uh, een probleem uh, uh, als ik um, andere sp spraken snel spreek, dat de spraken, uh, dat de spraken, is dat te, te goed, goede woord? Nee, ik weet niet. Maar um, de talen... Uh, Woord samen. Dat <laughs> uh, is een, een slechte probe, probleem. En uh, dat is ook um, waarom ik niet um, uh, met, met spreken uh, vertalen kan. Ik kan schrijven. Schrijven is is goed, maar spreken is, is uh, heel ma uh, mo mo moeilijk. En uh, ja, yeah, jullie uh, kunnen dat zien. Oké. Okay. So, the, uh, that was a demonstration of how difficult it is to switch between different languages. Uh, I mixed some of the languages a little bit. Um, of course, luckily, since I'm more familiar with English, it's much easier to switch back into English. So, um, switching back to your native language is no, not a problem at all. But switching between different foreign languages is an extremely dif difficult skill. Um, and it's something that I would like to be able to do better at, but at the same time I don't think it's completely necessary. I don't know if I'll ever get into the interpretation field, but translation is something that I have considered before. So anyway, um, I hope this video was enlightening, um, and I hope that I was able to maybe dispel some uh, stereotypes that people may have for uh, those who can speak uh, foreign languages, especially multiple foreign languages. Um, 
I don't ever claim to be perfect at what I'm doing because I make a lot of mistakes and that's okay. And my main goal is to simply be, a, to be able to communicate with people. Uh, whether or not every word I say is perfect is not something that I ever really worry about that much. Um, because nobody's speech is, is completely perfect even in your native language. Uh, as long as you're able to communicate the ideas you want to say, that's really the most important part. But also, don't ever assume that just some because somebody can speak a uh, a decent level of one language that they are like a complete genius in that language. So that may sometimes be true, but it's not always true. And um, don't ever un unfairly um put a, a a burden on somebody uh by trying to uh rely on them completely that just because they speak that language doesn't mean that they are your go to source for for um uh, speaking that language <clears throat> they may not have the skills necessary to be able to help you in the way that you want it's i mean it, you can always ask of course but um you know always make sure that somebody is comfortable with uh, completing the task that you are asking of them. So with that, uh, this is a rather long video now, so I will um, end this. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, uh, suggestions, uh, or maybe reflections on experiences that you've had with foreign languages, I would be very interested in hearing it. So um, until next time, thank you all very much, and I'll see you later.